To give you an idea of what it sounds like before and after, you hear that hum in there, and then, oh. What is up, Mercedes? Javier Mercedes here, and in this video, we're going to be utilizing an audio plugin within Premiere Pro called the Parametric Equalizer. What that's gonna do is help us remove hums that find their way into our audio signals. This content that you're about to watch is a part of a larger video that I posted to my Patreon. Whenever I encounter challenges or I need to utilize my problem-solving skills within an edit, I'm gonna just do an uncut version of me solving that problem. Since I'm jumping into the middle of this video, I'm gonna tell you, in in order to use a parametric EQ inside Premiere Pro, you can either drop the plugin onto a clip or put it on a whole track within your audio track mixer. Double click on it. And then within a parametric EQ, let me explain a couple of the parameters here. This is going to boost or cut the specific frequency. Then this will sweep which frequency you are boosting or cutting. And then this will be the width of how much you boost or cut. You can turn off each notch by hitting this number right here. I just brought this out over here so I could find a spot where there's a lot of silence that I could isolate. I'm going to isolate this. I'm gonna set an in and an out just so I can loop this. I've set it up with the signal right here to loop. And let's be off to the races on notching out our frequencies and this hum. So, mm, so the first thing that we do is I tagged this number one and we're just going to boost it and then I'm going to isolate it, get it real rinky dink and then really boost it. And then we're going to do a frequency sweep of the frequency spectrum. And what I anticipate will happen is you'll find a very boosted hum. And then after you find that boosted hum, what will happen is there will be harmonics of that hum. Think of it like a piano. If you were to play a C, there's going to be a harmonic. It'd be like, uh, 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 uh. but you would want to get every single one of those notes. I don't even know if that makes sense. I'm just going to show you what I mean. All right, so frequency sweeping. Oh, you hear it? Let me really turn it up right there. That right there. That moo, moo, moo. It sounds like there's another one over here in the base. One down here. Obviously, you're going to need headphones to really hear this. There's one. There it is again. Sounds like there's one in here. Oh, right there. That's what I'm talking about. So we have to take out the and the uh. All right, so I'm going to focus on this really low one first. Right there. It's like a G.I. Joe. Take that one out, really narrow it down so it only bites down on that uh, frequency. Going to bring, introduce another one, turn it up and find that now. Clamp down on it. There it is but I think there was one in between. Really resonating there. So I'm gonna clamp down on that one. Now what you're gonna start to see is a pattern here that these will kind of be equidistant to, from each other in comparison to this exponential frequency chart here. Notice how the uh, the frequency is 100 to 1k is in the same amount of distance as 1k to 10k. It gets exponentially shorter to each other. So you're going to see these get exponentially shorter to each other in terms of the harmony that this one frequency is um, creating. So now I'm going to go find another one. I'm going to use my number three here to go find that next frequency that is exciting the microphone right there oh I love this kind of stuff Do you guys love this kind of stuff patrons oh yeah boy get that out of there you know what we're just gonna use this number four over here it's not doing anything 
see if we can find it. See if we can find us a, a frequency that does both. Sounds like it's right there, but it's really faint. Do you hear that? I'll turn it up even more. Oh, that's not the right one. Oh, we missed one. That's definitely one right there. So let's just go ahead and notch that one out because that one was definitely giving us trouble. And five's not doing anything for us. Normally I wouldn't do this many, but just because I'm showcasing this for a video, let's go ahead and do it. If you can see the pattern here, I bet that there, there may be one in between here. Maybe not. But there's probably one around this area because you see how these are getting closer to each other like these lines right here. Let's move this and really clamp down. It's, it sounds like we found them all that are really affecting the signal. There's one right there. It's really faint though. Like this really is not doing much to affect the signal, but it's there. So maybe I'll just do a little bit, a little bit. And to give you an idea of what it sounds before and after, that I that we actually did something to the signal. Listen to this. You hear that hum in there? And then Oh, and obviously there's more air in there, but the audio uh the adaptive noise reduction will get rid of that. Multiband compressor. And then if we turn the gate back on, it's just not even there. That's cool though, what that gate does, isn't it? Let's go back and listen to her <laughs> talking before and after the parametric EQ. I said from the beginning, you know, if I get one chair turn, I'll be fine, I'll be happy. And it worked out exactly that way. Um, but yeah, I had no idea that I, I didn't even know when I had walked out on the stage and started singing that there was only one spot left. I had no idea until I saw the okay. other judges, like I saw Adam and Blake and Gwen getting on their chairs and turning around to look at me. And I was like, oh, they don't have any spots left. Yeah, what's his reference? Adam and Blake and Gwen getting on their chairs. And boom, there you guys go. So we got rid of the hum. I hope this was helpful for you. And that's a great screen to end on. Uh, again, thank you guys so much. I, and if this is the kind of stuff that you're looking for, I hope these are the, the types of videos that you're looking for because this is the kind of stuff that I can turn around and put on this page and provide value to you guys while still being able to spend time creating the other content that I do. Can't thank you enough for being patrons. Until next Patreon video, I will see you guys later. Bye.